What is TikTok and why should you care? A lot of people have never heard of TikTok. Marketers that spend advertising money on social media platforms do not know anything about it or the potential that it provides. That's okay for you because it means that there is less competition for you to worry about. In fact, TikTok has been in the news recently for the wrong reasons. There was concern that the platform was not safe for youngsters to use. The truth is that there was some dodgy content on TikTok, but they have cleaned up their act and removed a lot of videos that did not meet their community guidelines and terms of use. This has not stopped TikTok experiencing incredible growth over the last two years. In the first half of 2018, it was the most downloaded free iOS app. TikTok was the most downloaded app on Google Play in October 2018, and overall, it was the third most downloaded app in the world in November 2018. In March 2019, there have been over 1 billion installs of TikTok. There were 660 million downloads in 2018, and in the first quarter of 2019, there were 188 million. There are over 500 million active users of TikTok, and 26.5 million of these are from the United States. Here are some other key statistics about TikTok. There are more users of TikTok on Android than iOS. At the moment, the largest user base is in India, representing around 43%. Around 66% of TikTok users are less than 30 years old. The average time spent on the TikTok platform is 52 minutes. There has been an increase with in-app purchases of 275% year-on-year. 29% of the user base use TikTok every day. Challenges work well. The Raindrop Challenge had more than 685 million views, and the Tumbleweed Challenge created 8,000 videos and has more than 9 million views in a week. For the In My Feelings Challenge, there are over 5 million videos on TikTok compared to 1.7 million videos on Instagram. What is TikTok? A company in Beijing, China, called ByteDance, developed the Douyin app in only 200 days. They launched the app for the Chinese market initially, and the company launched TikTok, which is the same, for the international market in 2017. The ByteDance company purchased Music.ly, which was a popular app created by a startup in Shanghai, China, who also had an office in Santa Monica in the United States. This helped ByteDance to build a larger video community. TikTok is all about short videos. Users upload videos of around 15 seconds. With the previous app Musical.ly, the users tended to upload videos of themselves lip-syncing to popular music videos. The most talented of these people that uploaded videos turned into the biggest influencers of the Music.ly platform. It is possible to upload videos of around 60 seconds that share stories, but the majority of the videos on TikTok are 15 seconds or less. The target audience for TikTok, and formerly Music.ly, are teenagers and those in their early 20s with an age range of 13 to 24 year olds. TikTok changed the variety of the video uploads on the platform since it has grown so much. Now you will find a lot more than lip synced videos. In fact, there are many other videos to choose from rather than just music. You can now find comedians doing stand up, lots of prank videos, dancing videos, skateboarding videos, fashion and beauty videos, and a lot more. People with all kinds of talents are now uploading videos to TikTok. And now, there are people uploading videos showing them using their favorite products. Not all of the TikTok users create and upload videos, of course. This is the same with YouTube and Instagram. A lot of users are just looking for entertaining content to make them happy. There is no need for a TikTok user to follow anyone on the app. If they just want to find entertaining videos, they can use the Discover page and look for videos that they are interested in. A TikTok user can search for videos using keywords or they can use specific hashtags. Now, TikTok users are liking videos more than they did before and they are subscribing to more channels. There's a lot more sharing of TikTok videos than before and you can take a look at the videos that a user has played through their profile page. Who are the TikTok users? The previous app Musical.ly targeted the Generation Z demographic and the bias was females. TikTok seems to be targeting the same people, but it is really too early to tell. There certainly are older users on the platform now. You cannot get away from the fact that around 66% of TikTok users are under the age of 30. Females still dominate the platform at around the same percentage. TikTok has international appeal with a lot of users from India and the United States. The sister app Douyin has around 400 million Chinese users and the apps use different servers. When Douyin first launched, more than 50% of its users were under the age of 24. However, 
Most of these users are still using the app, so the age range keeps going up. Time will tell if the same thing will happen to TikTok, and we believe that this will be the case. Videos on TikTok A TikTok user can upload a video that they have shot of themselves or any other video that they have in their gallery. There are features in TikTok which can slow down or speed up videos, and users can apply a number of different filters. TikTok also has a React feature where users can shoot a video which includes their reaction to another video. A small window showing the user can be placed anywhere on the screen, and this is a popular feature. There is also a duet feature on TikTok where a user can create a video with one video next to another one. This feature was available in the previous Musical.ly app and was very popular, so they decided to keep this. A smart move. It is possible for users that upload videos to mark them as either public, private, or friends only. TikTok provides a For You page, which displays a feed of videos recommended for the user based on which videos the user has viewed before, similar to YouTube, using artificial intelligence. Each TikTok user has a saved section in their profile which only they can see. Here they can add videos, sounds, filters, and hashtags, which they can refer back to anytime they want to do this. TikTok Growth Factors So how did TikTok grow so quickly? The platform has really taken a lot of people by surprise with its significant growth in such a short space of time. Here are some of the main reasons for the growth of TikTok. Endorsements from celebrities. If you know anything about social networks, then you will be aware that celebrities have a significant impact. Some celebrities are really big social media platform users and command large followings from hundreds of thousands to millions. An endorsement from a celebrity is going to persuade a lot of their followers. One of the earliest celebrities to embrace TikTok was Jimmy Fallon. He presented the app on his show to encourage people to participate in a challenge he had started. The number of TikTok users grew significantly from this. Fallon now has a partnership with TikTok. Content that is localized. Despite TikTok being a global app, it has a focus for localized content. You will see a number of local challenges on the platform, and this has resulted in an upturn in the user base. TikTok has a contest that they call One Million Audition which it runs across different nations. Participants with the best themes receive an award, and the contest has helped to build the overall user base. Not only that, but TikTok provides suggestions to users for local topics, and this has resulted in more local videos created. It is easy to use TikTok. Users find it really easy to use the TikTok app. It makes video creation and sharing very simple, which users really appreciate. There is no steep learning curve with TikTok as there is with some other platforms. All a user has to do is record their video and then instantly post it. As soon as you open the TikTok app, it is very easy to access videos and they will start to play in sequence. People find it very easy to find videos that they want to watch. Getting started with TikTok. You need to make a good start with TikTok if you want to be successful with it. In this video, we will look at the best way to get started so that you create the right foundation for your marketing using the app. Is TikTok right for your business? Before we get started on registering a TikTok account and setting things up, you should first conduct some research to see if TikTok is the right platform for your business. Ask yourself the following questions. Are your target customers younger than 35 years old? Does your business target Generation Z and younger millennials? Are your products visually appealing? Are you in the music business or an artist? Would you say that your brand is fun, casual, and trendy? Does your brand have a cool kid vibe about it? Do you have the resources to post content regularly on TikTok? This is not an exhaustive list by any means. Take a look at the type of brands that are using TikTok for marketing now. Does your brand suit the platform? We recommend that if you are going to market your brand on TikTok, that you perform a test for around three months. Later on in this training, we will discuss how you can tell if things are working for you or not. Install TikTok. Now that you have decided to use TikTok for your brand and marketing, you will need to download the app and install it on your mobile device. TikTok is available for Android and iOS devices here. One of the really good things about TikTok is that it is easy to share other people's content freely elsewhere. Some social media platforms actually prevent this from happening. Once you have a TikTok account, other users can share your content on other sites. TikTok users can actually download full video and GIF versions of your content but there is a TikTok watermark on this. This is excellent as it helps to get the word out about the platform and your brand in a seamless and organic way. Once you have downloaded and installed TikTok, you will need to create an account and choose a username and display name. It is easy to sign up using Facebook, Twitter, or a Gmail email account. 
make these names count and associate them with your brand. Be aware that if you sign up using your phone number, then your username will reflect this number. When you use an email address, TikTok will provide a more personalized username. It doesn't really matter too much because you can change your username. As soon as your account is ready, TikTok will create a feed of videos that it thinks you would be interested in using AI technology. As you spend more time using TikTok, the AI technology will make smarter video choices for you. Set up your profile. To access your profile, tap on the icon that looks like the outline of a person with the word me underneath on the lower right of the screen. Make sure that you write an appealing bio as TikTok users will read this. It needs to be exciting for them to want to follow you. You can link your YouTube and Instagram accounts in your profile, and we strongly recommend that you do this. At the time of writing, you cannot link your Facebook page, but this is sure to change in the near future. Take your time and write a compelling description. Add the most relevant hashtags here as well. It is really important that you make the description as engaging as possible. If you want other users to react to any of your videos using the duet feature, then you can set this in your profile. You will need to select an image or video for your profile. We recommend that you choose a video here. After all, this is a video platform. When you are completing your profile, always think about the appeal that you are creating. It really can make all the difference between you being discovered on the platform and not. Start engaging with other users. The next step is to find some related videos and start engaging with other TikTok users. You need to get used to navigating around the app, which is pretty simple. There are two main feeds within the TikTok app. The default feed creates the For You page that presents videos to you using AI technology. It is similar to how Instagram's Explore page works. When you watch a video on TikTok, you will notice a series of icons to the right. The first icon will take you to the content creator's profile if you tap on it. Then there is the heart icon for liking a video. Then you have the comments icon and then an arrow pointing to the right, which you can use to share TikToks on other social platforms. Finally, there is a spinning record icon that has musical notes coming out of it. This tells you about the music that is playing in the video. When you click on it, you can see the name of the track and the artist, as well as a feed with other videos that use the same music or song. If you find a video that you enjoy, then tap on the heart icon to like it as you would on Instagram or Facebook. When you find related videos from users that have a good following, then you should leave a comment as they will pick up on this. You can share the video on external platforms too. Following other TikTok users. We would recommend that you start to follow other TikTok users. If they are in the same niche as you, then this is a particularly good idea. There are actually four ways that you can follow another user on TikTok, and the methods vary slightly if you're using an iOS or Android device. Following TikTok users on an iOS device. One, browse videos or categories. With the app open, tap on the magnifying glass at the bottom of the screen. This takes you to the page where you can search by user or category. Here you can tap on a hashtag or a category. There's also a search bar at the top of the page. Now tap a video and look for the profile image in the bottom right corner. Tap the plus sign and this will transform into a check mark. Two, search for a username. Use the magnifying glass again and enter the username into the search bar. You will then see the user with a red follow button to the right. This will then transform into a white following button. Three, follow contacts on your device. Tap on the person icon in the far bottom right of the screen. Tap the person outline icon with a plus to open the friends screen. Tap on find contacts friends and then follow a contact using the follow red button as above. Four, follow Facebook friends. Go to the friends screen again using the method above. This time tap on find Facebook friends. A message will appear about signing into Facebook. Tap continue. After confirming your Facebook login, you can invite your friends to TikTok by using the red follow button. Following TikTok users on an Android device. 1. Follow from Browse. Open TikTok and then swipe up the main screen to find an account of interest. You can look at recent videos by swiping up and down your home feed. Here, you will see the profile picture with a red plus sign. Tap on this plus sign to follow this user. 2. Follow from Search. Tap the magnifying glass icon, which is on the bottom left of the screen. This opens the search page for you. Now use the search bar at the top of the page to search for users' hashtags and sounds. When you see the user listed that you want to follow, just tap on the red follow button. Three, follow contacts on your device. Tap on the profile icon at the bottom right of the screen to open the profile page. Tap on the person outline with a plus sign in the upper left corner. Then tap on find contacts friends, and this will scan your phone book.
you will need to tap on an Allow button first. Tap on the Follow button next to your contact's name. 4. Follow Facebook Friends Open your profile page as you did above and tap on the outline person with the plus sign. This time tap on Find Facebook Friends. You will need to sign into Facebook so that TikTok can scan your friends. When you see your friends list, tap on the red follow button. When you follow people on TikTok, some of them are going to follow you back. Not all of them will, but that's okay. You always want to have some followers on your profile when you are starting out. It doesn't look great if you are marketing on the platform and you have no followers. Creating content for TikTok. Types of posts on TikTok. To give you some good ideas for content you can create on TikTok, we will take a look at the most common types of posts that you will see. Remember that whatever you do, it needs to be entertaining. Music videos. Remember that the TikTok platform is a follow-on from the musical.ly platform, which was all about lip-syncing to famous songs. So, it will probably not surprise you to know that many music videos and even music montages are very popular on TikTok. You will find a number of lip-syncing videos and others that are a bit more creative. For example, we found a number of music videos that featured characters from games where the words of the song had a strong connection. Comedy videos. There are a ton of videos on TikTok that have the aim of making people laugh. It is amazing how people think of some of the ideas for funny videos and create them. You will find humorous videos for people of all ages. While a lot of the comedic videos are spontaneous and the short kind of around 15 seconds or less, there are other videos that have clearly been well planned out and have a great deal of detail in them. Making comedic videos is not easy, but if you can do it, then you will really connect with the TikTok crowd. Special effects videos. You can create some great videos with special effects inside TikTok. For example, there are a number of face filters that you can use to make your videos really interesting. Special effects videos are usually very popular, so you want to take your time and learn all you can about what is possible. Duet videos. If you see a particular musical post that you want to reply to, you can use the duets feature in TikTok to create your own video by the side of the original video and use the same music. This was a popular feature in the musical.ly that users really like. Some of the best videos using the duets feature are reactionary. You will see how someone feels about the original video, which is often very funny. It is not that difficult to make duet style videos and you can use your own videos and react to them. Challenge videos. A very popular thing on TikTok is a hashtag challenge. When Jimmy Fallon, the host of The Tonight Show, came up with the idea of the Tumbleweed Challenge, it was an enormous hit and in less than a week, there were more than 8,000 videos related to it on TikTok that got over 10 million engagements. A challenge video will basically encourage users to participate by doing something fun. Other successful challenges have included the Chipotle Lid Flip Challenge, where the aim here was to flip a Chipotle bowl lid by only using the bowl. If you can come up with the right challenge, you can get a huge amount of engagement on TikTok. Creating a TikTok video. We would always recommend that you plan your TikTok videos when you are promoting your brand on the platform. Remember that your aim is always engagement with the users and although spontaneous videos can certainly do that, those that are planned tend to do a lot better. It is pretty straightforward to create a TikTok video. If you have ever posted a story to Instagram or Snapchat, then you are going to find the tools available in TikTok easy to use, intuitive, and powerful. The first thing you need to do is tap on the plus icon at the bottom of the screen. This will open the camera on your device, and you will see a large red round record button. You can create either a 15-second short video or a 60-second video. It is not necessary for you to use your camera to record something on the fly. There is an upload button that you can use to upload a video that you created earlier. Whatever way you choose to go, you can use the tools within TikTok to add a number of special effects, including speed up your video, slow down your video, alternate between your front and back smartphone camera, add a timer. There are a number of effects available in TikTok, and when you tap on the effects icon on the left side of the screen, you can browse through them. There is a world tab where you will find effects suitable for the environment, such as a slice of augmented reality pizza. If you are using a dog or a cat in your video, then there are even special effects available for them as well. The beauty button is a real lifesaver. Use this to erase any dark shadows that you may have under your eyes. Then there are the various filters available, which are all numbered, unlike with Instagram, where they all have names. As with Instagram, the filters in TikTok are there to allow you to change the color filter of your camera. 
The timer feature is very useful as you can set it to create hands-free recordings. Without this feature, you would need to hold the recording button down all of the time when you are shooting your videos from within TikTok. We recommend that you spend time playing around with the various special effects tools in TikTok. It will not take you very long to become an expert. And after this, you can start testing the duets feature. To create a duet video, just tap on the share button with the original and then choose duet. It is always good to add a musical track with TikTok videos and you can do this after you have uploaded it to the recording screen. In fact, videos can go viral on TikTok simply because of the chosen music track. To add a music track, all you need to do is tap on the add a sound icon, which is on the right side of the recording screen. You will then see a streaming menu of songs and artists similar to Spotify. Just browse the most popular tracks on TikTok, and you can also find other songs on Apple Music as well if you want. Remember that you will not find complete songs on TikTok. Instead, you'll find short clips to use with your short videos. You cannot edit these clips, which may not be what you want. But there is a solution as you can actually play the music on another device while you are shooting video in TikTok. This is then registered as an original sound. You need to be careful that you do not infringe any copyrights if you record sound from another device, though. Within the Sounds menu, you will find the tracks associated with TikTok challenges. Once you have finished your video, just tap on Next, and you will see a page that looks a lot like the post page for Instagram. On this page, you can create a caption for your video and add relevant hashtags. If you want, you can add the account handles of other users here, and you can make changes to the privacy settings where you can enable or disable duets, turn the comments on or off, and to download to your smartphone's photo gallery, you can tap on Save to Album. To make the post later, you can tap on the Draft button and return to it later. Content Marketing on TikTok Whenever you are posting content to TikTok, you need to think about engagement. Once you start to create entertaining videos that drive engagement, your followers will want more from you. So you had better have a plan to keep them entertained on a regular basis. There are going to be a number of marketers that make a lot of posts on TikTok at the beginning and then post nothing afterwards. This is not the best way to go. It is like telling your audience that you have nothing new to offer them. Your followers will feel that you no longer want to communicate with them and you want to avoid this. Create a schedule for your TikTok posts. You need to make a commitment if you want to be successful on social media platforms like TikTok. New content posted regularly will increase your chances of more engagement and more followers. TikTok hashtags. It is very important that you use the right hashtags with your TikTok posts. You can add them to a video post and an independent post or on the section for comments. If you want to categorize some of your content on TikTok, then you need to use the right hashtags. You can also use hashtags when you want your audience to know that the video post you are publishing is related to some of your previous posts. If you want to highlight a trending event, then you need to use hashtags. Reasons to use TikTok hashtags. There are a number of important reasons why you should use TikTok hashtags. Here are the two most important reasons. Get more likes and exposure. The main reason to use hashtags is to make it easy for TikTok users to understand what your videos are about so that they will be persuaded to watch them. By persuading your audience to watch a video with the right hashtags, you will certainly get more views. Hashtags are good at highlighting trending topics that users do not want to miss. It will increase the number of likes that you get too. The more engagement that you can get through the right hashtags, the better, and this will help you to drive more sales. Increase your following. Some of the users on TikTok will be looking for specific types of content. They will look at hashtags as the best way to determine the type of content. You must use relevant hashtags and TikTok users will be more likely to follow you if your hashtags accurately describe your content. There are other users trying to dupe people with their hashtags. How can you find the best hashtags for TikTok? You need to know how to find the best hashtags for your content on TikTok. There are some proven methods that you can use to find them. Know your audience. A lot of your audience on TikTok will only follow certain hashtags on the platform. If you just use random hashtags and do not categorize your post properly, then users will ignore your hashtags and posts. You will not establish yourself in your niche unless you research your audience properly to find out what they really like. Once you know what your audience wants, it will be easy for you to create your own unique hashtags that will really appeal to them. You can start to create customized hashtags once you have established your brand with your audience. Look at what TikTok influencers are doing. You need to find out who the best influencers are on TikTok and take a look at how they have become so successful. 
It is important that you learn from these influencers because they know what they are doing and how to get the best out of the platform. Look at the trends that influencers write on and the hashtags that they use. Take a look at the posts that the influencers make and note the hashtags they use for the most successful posts. Also look at some of their posts that didn't work so well so you can avoid making the same mistakes. Check out your competitors. Spend some time researching your competitors on TikTok. Most of them are going to use the same hashtags on their posts and then you can follow these to see what your audience wants from the niche you are in. This is a very important task when you are just starting out with TikTok and you are trying to establish yourself. Never copy what your competitors are doing. Look at their successes to generate ideas for the hashtags that you can use. Use tools to find good TikTok hashtags. There are good tools that you can use to find hashtags. Using these tools will show you popular hashtags for specific niches. Here are a couple of good tools that you can use. Seek metrics. You can use this tool to find good hashtags for your TikTok posts. There's also an option to use comparative metrics so that you can measure your performance on the platform. It is easy to use Seek Metrics and the interface is intuitive. There is a search feature where you can type in a hashtag keyword and Seek Metrics will provide some suggestions for you. You can copy these suggestions to later add them to your TikTok posts. All Hashtag All Hashtag is another good hashtag generator. To use the tool, then just type in a keyword and All Hashtag will do the rest. It will recommend good hashtags for your niche, and then you can copy them for future reference. The best 100 hashtags to use for more likes. Here are the best hashtags that we recommend you use to get more likes for your TikTok posts. 1. TikTok 2. Funny 3. Love 4. Follow me 5. Memes 6. Cute 7. Music 8. Fun 9. Fashion 10. Happy 11. Musically. 12. Follow. 13. Follow for follow back. 14. Comedy. 15. LOL. 16. Meme. 17. Like for like. 18. Muser. 19. Video. 20. Girl. 21. Funny videos. 22. Dank memes. 23. Dance. 24. Like for follow. 25. TBT. 26. TikTokindo. 27. Me. 28. Repost for follow. 29. Summer. 30. Pick of the day. 31. Friends. 32. Life. 33. Beauty. 34. Repost. 35. Selfie. 36. Smile. 37. Amazing. 38. Family. 39. Beach. 40. OOTD. 41. Beautiful. 42. Fitness. 43. Sky. 44. Pretty. 45. Duet. 46. Sunset. 47. Dog. 48. Hair. 49. Swag. 50. VSCO. 51. Cat. 52. Makeup. 53. Holiday. 54. Inspiration. 55. iPhone only. 56. C. 57. Fashion. 58. Art. 59. Tags for likes. 60. Sun. 61. No filter. 62. Travel. 63. Follow for follow. 64. Photo. 65. Photography. 66. VSCO Cam. 67. Model. 68. Fall in Love. 69. Insta-like. 70. Nature. 71. NYC. 72. Photo of the Day. 73. Home. 74. Drawing. 75. Healthy. 76. Best of the Day. 77. Gym. 78. Baby. 79. Design. 80. Cool. 81. Instapic. 82. Motivation. 83. Night. 84. Party. 85. Instacool. 86. Christmas. 87. Fit. 88. Good Morning. 89. Workout. 90. Blue. 
91 flowers. 92 handmade. 93 black and white. 94 insta food. 95 yummy. 96 pink. 97 hot. 98 lifestyle. 99 work. 100 black. Take a good look at these hashtag suggestions and work out which ones will suit your niche. Some of them are general, so you can experiment with these. Always measure your hashtag performance as it is very important for your success on TikTok. Marketing strategies for TikTok. We believe that there are three effective ways that you can market your brand on TikTok. One, you create your own branded channel and upload relevant videos for your niche. Two, you can identify and work with influencers on TikTok to increase your reach on the platform. Three, you can advertise on TikTok. We will cover this in the next video. A lot of marketers on TikTok use a combination of these things to grow their followers and increase their reach. In this video, we will discuss the eight most successful marketing strategies that many brands use. One, hashtag challenges. The TikTok community loves a challenge. A lot of users love to accept challenges on the platform and create videos and upload them in response to the challenge. If you want to create a challenge on TikTok, and you should, then you need to create an exciting and relevant hashtag. It needs to be memorable and easy for users to find. We have already mentioned in this training how popular the Jimmy Fallon Tumbleweed Challenge was. Okay, he had the benefit of using the power of The Tonight Show to spread the word about his challenge. But if you take this out of the equation, it was still a good challenge because there were more than 8,000 videos created and more than 10 million engagements. All he asked TikTok users to do was drop to the ground and then roll like a tumbleweed when they heard a particular piece of music. To create a successful challenge, you need to think about how a TikTok user can interact with your brand in a fun way. Maybe they hold one of your products and then do something fun with it. You also need to think about the difficulty and the creativity of the challenge. We would always recommend that you add a degree of difficulty into the challenge. The Jimmy Fallon Tumbleweed Challenge was difficult because the dropping down to the floor and rolling like a tumbleweed had to be done in public. Those that took up this challenge were really proud that they overcame their shyness and did it. It is always a good idea to allow the user some flexibility in any challenge that you create. Provide the TikTok users with the guidelines, but don't tell them exactly what they have to do. You will get better results if you allow users a chance to put their own spin on things. The jeans company Guess did this very well. Jeans are a really personal item, so they encouraged users to show off how they like to wear them. This gave the users the freedom to use filters and other special effects from within TikTok. Google also had a successful TikTok challenge for the Google Assistant. When you think about it, there is almost an infinite number of things that a person could ask the Google Assistant. So, Google invited users to ask any question that they wanted of the Google Assistant, which made the challenge creative and very popular. 2. Use duets A lot of marketers miss the trick with duets. You can utilize a hashtag campaign with a duet that is unique and attracts a great deal of engagement. Well-known DJ Khaled is now an official TikTok partner. He created a very popular hashtag, Catch These Blessings, by creating duets where he is looking at himself and praising individuals. So, users are able to use the duet function to record themselves beside DJ Khaled so that they can react to what he is saying in his video. So, we encourage you to think about ways in which you can interact with your audience using the duet feature in TikTok. Here are some ideas. Sing to one another. Hold a conversation. High-five each other. Finish each other's sentences. There are so many possibilities with this, so get your thinking cap on because TikTok really liked the duet feature and use it a lot. Get this right, and you will get a ton of engagement for your brand. 3. Use influencers. As you would expect, there are a number of influencers on TikTok as there are with all the other social media platforms. The difference is that because TikTok is fairly new, there are not as many as there are on Instagram, for example, so identifying them should be easier for you. Even though the TikTok platform is new, there are still influencers on there that have millions of followers. They can really help you to push your marketing campaign to their audience. When you are choosing an influencer, you must consider the authenticity they have and use the right type of content. Big brands such as Google have used influencers to spread the word about their campaigns to good effect. There have been a number of successful influencer marketing cases using hashtag challenges, for example. It all boils down to selecting the right influencer and allowing them to have input. Let them create the best content around your campaign because they know their audience much better than you do. So, you could ask an influencer to wear a piece of clothing that you sell, 
or using one of your products. The influencer needs to be comfortable doing this. If they don't like the clothing or the products that you sell, it will never work well. TikTok is a young people's platform, so don't expect influencers to promote campaigns for products designed for older people. 4. Use scarcity. Scarcity is always a good marketing tactic, and this certainly applies to TikTok. You want to encourage engagement and participation, and having a time constraint will push users to get involved. If you don't use some form of scarcity, then people will put off their participation and probably never end up getting around to it. So if you want to create a challenge, put a time limit on it. When a TikTok user knows that they only have a few days to participate, it will force them to make a decision. Guest Jeans gave users seven days to participate in their challenge, which was very effective as their participation numbers were high. 5. Be authentic. We would always recommend authenticity with your marketing for any social channel, but it is particularly important with TikTok as it is so new and pure. The platform is not saturated with brands yet like Instagram and others are. We are sure that this will happen eventually. You always need to be authentic on TikTok or else the community will shun you. Don't be sales-oriented and try to push users to purchase your products and services. Instead, you need to push community and creativity. Use engagement with your brand as a good way for your audience to receive likes and shares from their communities. When you get this right, you will experience a lot of success with your marketing on TikTok. 6. Build a community You're not going to get very far with TikTok if you just create a single challenge and leverage this by using an influencer. It is essential that you are prepared to build a community on the platform. Of course, you can develop the community around your brand and your products. We recommend that you start by creating simple videos. You need to decide on the tone that you want for your brand and then create short videos that resonate with this. Do you want to be funny, political, controversial, or positive? When you create a good community vibe on TikTok, other users will be clamoring to join in. 7. Encourage user-generated content. The Generation Z crowd wants to be fully immersed. They like to be active and are not fans of watching TV as it is far too passive for them. TikTok users want to participate and get involved with stuff, so give them this opportunity around your brand. Your aim here is to encourage TikTok users who like your brand to share videos of themselves using or interacting with your products in some way. When this happens, you are likely to receive high levels of engagement. A restaurant in China came up with the idea of having a DIY option on their menu. People that went for this option were able to create their own unique dishes and a lot of them created videos around this. They then uploaded these videos to the Chinese version of TikTok, which is Douyin. What was the result of this? Well, after only a few customers that had chosen the DIY option uploaded the videos, the restaurant experienced a sharp increase in traffic. In fact, a further 15,000 people approached the restaurant for their DIY option, and many of these made videos too and uploaded them. Over 50 million users viewed these videos. 8. Promote your videos on other social channels. When you create videos for TikTok, you can use them for promotion on other social channels as well. Also add them to your website or blog. This is a great way to get more followers on TikTok as well as on other platforms. TikTok ads. At the time of writing this training, TikTok ads were not available to all countries. They were certainly available in the United States. To see if you can place ads on TikTok in your country, please go to https colon forward slash forward slash ads dot tiktok dot com. TikTok started to show short ads in January 2019. Later, in April 2019, TikTok launched the beta version of their managed service platform, which created a biddable ad environment. Reps from TikTok will run ads for you, but this is sure to change. So here, we want to explain the types of ads that are available on the TikTok platform. There are a few things that you need to know about TikTok ads first. You can only use in-feed video ad. This is sensible as the platform is renowned for its short video clips. You have the choice of three different models with these ads. 1. Cost per click, CPC. 2. Cost per thousand impressions, CPM. 3. Cost per view, CPV. This is a six-second view. In terms of audience targeting, you can go for gender and age as well as geo-targeting at state level. Going forward, TikTok plans to introduce other targeting options such as behavioral, interest, and more granular demographics. At the moment, there is no minimum spend requirement, but TikTok does encourage their advertisers to make an investment in ads that will be large enough to produce results and generate leads and sales. There is a feature to create custom lists, but you will need to use a physical list for this as CRM integration isn't currently available. In time, there will certainly be a self-ad serve option and useful integrations. 
Brand Takeover Ads If you want your ad to appear when a user opens TikTok, then the Brand Takeover Ad is right for you as it will present your ad front and center. With this type of ad, you will be able to drive TikTok users internally or to an external destination. Only one advertiser can use a Brand Takeover Ad per category per day. Over time, this is going to make these ads pretty expensive. At the top of the screen, the user can elect to skip the ad if it is not of interest to them. With Brand Takeover Ads, you will be able to measure reach through click rates, unique reaches, and impressions. These are going to be effective ad types as the ads will be user-friendly and designed to have an impact on the target audience. The Hashtag Challenge Ad The Hashtag Challenge Ad is all about encouraging user-generated content by requesting TikTok users to participate in a challenge that showcases your brand in some way. Challenges are very popular on TikTok, so if you get this right, then you can expect some very good results. Hashtag challenges are so successful because they capitalize on the natural tendency of TikTok users to create their own content and upload it to the platform. When you go for a hashtag challenge and the representative from TikTok will partner with you for a period of six days, which will be the length of your ad. It is a good idea to find a good influencer partner for your hashtag challenge ad as they will be able to extend your reach considerably. The right challenge idea will result in a lot of organic engagements on the TikTok platform. Branded Lens Ads If you are familiar with the AR lenses offered by Instagram and Snapchat, then you will find this to be a similar concept. With branded lens apps, you can use 3D objects, face filters, and more. A branded lens can provide a very deep level of engagement on TikTok. When you have the support of the user base, this will be a very good way to get your message out there. In-feed native ads. If you like the Instagram story ads in full screen mode and believe that this kind of approach is right for your brand, then the in-feed native ads from TikTok could be the right choice for you. You will be able to add a link to your website in these ads. Of course, as with other types of ads, the in-feed native ads have a skip feature for users that have no interest. With this type of ad, there are a number of options available to you when it comes to design. You will be able to measure the engagements you receive with this type of ad, as well as total views, viewing times, click-throughs, and impressions. Your in-feed native ad can be between 5 and 15 seconds in length. The video must be in vertical format, and it will display on the TikTok user's For You page. There are some call-to-action choices, such as visits to your website and app downloads. TikTok ads will certainly improve over time. It is in the company's interest to attract advertisers and keep them as happy as possible. At the moment, the TikTok ad system does not have the sophistication of Facebook ads or Instagram ads, but this will get better as the platform continues to grow. At the moment, ads on TikTok are probably going to be the cheapest that they will ever be, so we recommend that you give them a try. There is certainly a large enough user base to make this worthwhile for you. As with all social media ads, it is a good idea to tweak them and mix it up. Seeing the same ad all of the time is not really a good thing on social media. Test all the ads that you place and take the time to work out why some perform better than others. All of your ads will need to blend in seamlessly with the TikTok platform. The reps will ensure this right now, and even when the platform goes self-serve, ads will probably still require approval from TikTok. Fun, entertaining, and consistent ads are the most likely to win the day. Anything that encourages participation is going to have more appeal. So, if you want to use TikTok ads, you need to plan your content and let your creativity flow. TikTok use cases to inspire you. There have been a number of successful use cases already on TikTok, despite the platform being fairly new. Some of the early adopters of TikTok include sports teams, musicians, and colleges, as well as specific businesses. In a lot of cases, they have found that their TikTok videos create more engagement than they do on other social platforms. The Bailey Bakery. There have been a lot of bakeries, pastry chefs, and cake decorators use TikTok for their marketing with good results. This makes sense because baking and cake making is highly demonstrative. You will find a lot of videos of chefs and cake decorators doing their thing to music on TikTok. A number of chefs and bakers have amassed followings of over 100,000 on TikTok, but the Bailey Bakery really stands out. At the time of writing, they have over 4 million followers and their videos have received over 90 million hearts or likes. Their videos all show bakers decorating cookies to background music. Sometimes they use the speed up effects as well. Anthony Barbudo, lawyer. This one will probably surprise you. It seems unlikely that lawyers would do well on TikTok, but there are quite a few on there that are getting good results. Some of the law firms use the platform for brand awareness, and they have fun in the process. The biggest lawyer success story on TikTok is Anthony Barbudo. At the time of writing, he has over 1.8 million followers, and his content has more than 26 million hearts. 
Other lawyers share their advice and expertise on TikTok, and some videos get thousands of hearts and comments. University of Florida. It is no surprise seeing universities and colleges with TikTok accounts. Some are doing better than others, and the University of Florida is certainly making their mark on the platform. They have more than 83,000 followers and almost a million hearts for their videos. The University of Florida shares a lot of different experiences, such as a behind-the-scenes look on campus, accomplishments of various students, videos on sports hype, and even dance challenges. Lis Nas X Again, no surprise to see musicians using TikTok, but Lil Nas X is a smart rapper who used the platform to really get the word out about his music. Most people have heard the Old Town Road song, and you can thank TikTok for this in a large part. A couple of years ago, Lil Nas X was unknown, but he worked out how he could use the meme culture of TikTok to appeal to the cool kids on the platform. His Old Town Road song went viral and ended up being the longest number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 and Spotify. How did he do this? Well, he posted a video of him performing the song on TikTok's platform, which was quickly turned into a meme. This spread like crazy and produced over 500 million video views and resulted in over 5 million users creating videos around his hashtag, Old Town Road. The Low Mile Shop If you own an e-commerce store, then you need to watch this. There are a lot of small e-commerce stores using the TikTok platform to promote their products now. They do this by creating and uploading videos that show how their products work to background music. The Low Mile Shop has really done well on TikTok. They created a video showing one of their products for closet organizing, and this received nearly 2 million hearts and almost 7,000 comments. What can TikTok do for your online store? The Washington Post. This is another usage case that may surprise you. The Washington Post has around 160,000 followers, and their content has over 4 million hearts. The content created by the Washington Post uses the features of TikTok really well. They really embrace the fun challenge and meme culture of the platform. Some of their most popular videos provide a behind-the-scenes look at their newsroom. In one video, there's a fun exchange between the editor and a reporter that received almost 100,000 hearts and more than 160 comments. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Cops on TikTok? You'd better believe it. There are a number of great cops, including entire sheriff's offices that have a presence on TikTok. One of the first of these law enforcement agencies to get on the TikTok was the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Now they have around 300,000 followers, and their content has over 3 million hearts. They create ride-along clips with their deputies and behind-the-scenes clips. There are really funny videos of deputies taking up popular dance challenges on TikTok. Other success stories. There are other success stories on TikTok, too. The NBA is on the platform, and they have over 5.5 million followers, and their content has more than 79 million hearts. They always post varied content ranging to highlights of basketball matches to fans dancing. Most of the NBA teams have their own TikTok accounts. A good example of this is the Chicago Bulls, who actually have an account for their mascot, who has the name Benny the Bull. Benny has an Instagram account as well, but he has more followers on TikTok. Benny creates collaboration videos with other mascots. One of the most popular of these videos was with the mascot from the Philadelphia Flyers who has the name Gritty. This just goes to show that TikTok offers many opportunities for co-marketing. We hope that these successful use cases have inspired you to get started with the TikTok platform to promote your business. Get in now while it is still growing, and you too can create a huge following and a great marketing channel. TikTok Analytics When you are promoting your business on any social media platform, you need to regularly check how you are doing. It should never be a case of putting content out there and hoping for the best. You need to know what is working and what isn't. So here we will give you the lockdown on TikTok analytics. You will need a pro account. Recently, TikTok launched their native analytics program, which is only available for pro account holders. If you have an Instagram creator account, then this is similar. You can use the analytics dashboard in TikTok to discover insights about your audience and how your published content is performing. It is very easy to switch to a pro account. Just go to your profile settings and tap on Manage My Account. On the next screen, just tap on Switch to Pro Account. After this, you have to choose a category for your account, and the final step is to enter your mobile phone number so you can receive a verification code via SMS. Enter the code, and you're good to go. Go back to your Settings menu, and you will now find Analytics. Tap on this to get to your dashboard. You will need to switch to a pro account before anything is recorded and displayed in your dashboard. It is going to take around a week to see anything meaningful, so post as much content as possible during this time. There are three categories on your TikTok analytics dashboard, which are 1. Profile Overview 2. Content Insights 3. Follower Insights 
you can tap on the tabs at the top of the screen for a deep dive into each of these categories. The Profile Overview You will use the Profile Overview to see how well your TikTok account is performing in general. You will be able to see your total profile views, video views, and your total follower count. Your video views are displayed first. With this, you can see the total number of times that users have viewed your videos in a 7-day or 28-day period. There is a daily breakdown provided, which is useful to identify peak days. Then, you will see your profile views. Again, there is a 7-day or 28-day option for this, and it is broken down into individual days. Finally, there is your follower count again available for a 7-day or 28-day period broken down into days. All of these metrics are useful to you and can be a big help to develop your TikTok content strategy. You can identify useful patterns with your profile overview metrics. You can use it to determine the time it takes users from first consuming your content to viewing your profile and becoming a follower. Content Insights You can get very rich insights from the Content tab in the TikTok Analytics. First, there is a top-level view where you can see views to each video post that you created over the last week. This is from the newest content to the oldest. It also shows you which of your videos has trended on the For You page for the same period as well as the total views for those videos throughout the process. What is really great about Content Insights is the ability to look at each individual post that you made to uncover the richest insights. You will get the following metrics for each post. Total hearts or likes for the post. Total comments for the post. Total shares for the post. Total video playtime. Total video views. The average watch time. Sources of traffic. Audience territories. The audience territories metric will tell you which posts resonated the best with which different audiences. This is presented at country level. You can compare this to the audience territories information found in Follower Insights. Follower Insights. In the Follower Insights section, you get a top-level view of the demographics of your audience. You will see a split by gender, as well as a breakdown of your audience numbers expressed in percentages. The territories are broken down to country level. Pentos TikTok Analytics Tool. The analytics package offered by TikTok is good, but you can only use it to examine the performance of your own account. What if you want to look at the performance of your competitors' accounts? There's an external TikTok analysis tool available from Pentos that will enable you to do just that. Pentos gathers publicly available TikTok profile data to provide you with insights for accounts that you do not own. You can sign up for a free Pentos account and you will be able to analyze data from three TikTok accounts. If you want to look at more and obtain more detailed metrics, then they have two premium options at $19 and $99 a month. In the Pentos dashboard, you can see the following for each account you are tracking. The average engagement rate. Total number of hearts. Total number of video posts. The average number of hearts or likes. The average number of comments. The number of other TikTok accounts that the profile follows. Let's say that you wanted to partner with a specific influencer to boost the reach of your content. You can use Pentos to see what their average engagement rate is, which will help with decision-making. With the premium version of Pentos, you can look at hashtags. For example, there's a hashtag challenge dashboard that will show you the following. The average hashtag engagement rate. The average number of comments. The total views to the hashtag content. Total number of posts using the hashtag. The average likes for the hashtag. Pentos is a really good tool to have in your TikTok marketing armory. You can start with the free version and then upgrade from there when you need more details. Knowing the results that certain influencers and competitors are achieving will give you an edge. TikTok Best Practices Although TikTok is a fairly new platform, a number of best practices have already emerged through different marketers experimenting with the platform. So here we have nine best practices for you to follow to get the most out of your TikTok marketing. 1. TikTok has a young user base. The Generation Z people that like TikTok want to be entertained, and they want to participate. So you need to give them what they want. As the platform grows, you may find that the audience broadens out in terms of age. But for now, you are looking at the younger generation, so always keep this in mind when you are planning your content. 2. Always use music. TikTok users expect music with their videos, so give it to them. Remember that a lot of the users come from Musical.ly, where music was the predominant theme. It will not take you long to add some music to your videos, so be sure to do this. 3. Use special effects. There are lots of different ways that you can spice up your videos using the special effects within TikTok. Take the time to learn how these effects work and use them as often as you can. 
You can experiment with different effects to see which are the most popular with your audience. 4. Use multiple shots in your videos. When you create a video using multiple shots, it makes it a lot more interesting. You don't have to do this with every video, but experiment with this in a few and see how your audience reacts. 5. Challenge your audience. TikTokers enjoy a challenge, which is why the hashtag challenge feature is so popular. Create a relevant and memorable hashtag for your challenge and make it fun with a degree of difficulty. Always set a deadline for completion of the challenge. 6. Take a look at your competitors. Find out who your competitors on TikTok are and take a good look at what they are doing. You can get some good ideas from this that will be the inspiration for some of your content. Remember not to copy what others are doing, but take their ideas and put your own spin on things. 7. Use analytics. Not everything that you do on TikTok is going to be a runaway success. You must know what is working well and what isn't. TikTok provides you with some great analytics that will tell you everything that you need to know about your posts and your profile as a whole. 8. Plan your content. Sometimes an on-the-fly video can work well, and there's no reason that you shouldn't create these from time to time. But in general, it is better to plan your content and create a posting schedule. Provide more of what is working. 9. Be consistent. It is much better to develop a consistent posting schedule than to post a lot of videos at once and then leave it for a while before you post again. Your brand can easily be forgotten if you do this. If TikTok users like your videos, then they will expect more, so get them used to a regular posting schedule. Conclusion If you have gone through this training from start to finish, you will have a good understanding of how you can use the TikTok platform to promote your business to the huge user base of more than 500 million users. It is important that you do not just jump onto the platform without knowing what you are doing. TikTok users are looking for fun and entertaining content. Brands and organizations that have used the platform successfully in marketing know this and have posted creative videos that get the users involved in their brand in a fun way. If you want to succeed with TikTok marketing, you must do the same. More and more businesses are starting to realize the power of the TikTok platform, but as things stand, it is not saturated with marketing. This means that it is an ideal time for you to get started and establish yourself on TikTok while there is less competition. Now it is over to you. While going through this training will make you a bit smarter, only by taking action will you be able to leverage the TikTok platform to increase the profitability of your business. Remember to download and install the app and play around with it so that you are familiar with the features before you start to post videos. You need to be committed to marketing on TikTok. Don't make the mistake of posting a lot of videos at once and then do nothing for a long time. The users will just forget about you. Get organized and create a content marketing schedule for TikTok and stick to it. We hope that you found TikTok marketing to be informative and useful. Get started today with your TikTok marketing. We wish you every success promoting your business on this rapidly growing platform.